Hi, I'm Jeanette White for Expert Village and Piper's Quilts and Comforts located in Salt Lake City, Utah in Sugar House. And today we're doing English Method Applique. We've already done our preparation work and we're actually start ready to start doing our needle turn. What I've done is I've based it around here with a heavy needle and a heavy thread. And this is, I like to think of it as being a lot like doing perforating paper. So what has happened is, is where I've done this heavy thread and needle, it's given the fabric a memory of where to turn. Now I'm going to trim this and you need good sharp little scissors about an eighth of an inch away from my basting line you can see here. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to clip about every third or fourth stitch of this basting that we just did. Kind of funny, you put it in and then you just clip it again. But it has a wonderful purpose. Now we're going to take our, our applique thread and I like to use the number 50 weight DMC. We carry it here at Piper's. And I'm going to fleck out a little section of this basting that I just put in. I'm going to take my needle and turn under this raw edge and the fabric is going to fold right on the line of where that basting was. Come up from the back, catch only one or two threads on the edge of that applique patch, straight back down through your background fabric and then back up a little bit further ahead, a stitch worth grabbing just the outside edge and I'm going to take two or three stitches here and then we'll flip this over and you can see the back. And you see here, here's my stitching line that I just did. Let me get that pesky little knot out. And you can see I'm right on that line. This is a wonderful applique method and it's very easy to learn.